Good morning guys. So today is mural painting day, but before that we are recording an episode of the podcast and it's an interview episode. Our guest today is Jen Carrington and I feel like if you're part of the creative community you already know who she is. She's just super amazing. She is a creative coach or like a coach for bloggers and entrepreneurs and Asia has actually worked with her before regularly and so we're having her on the show today and she's so sweet and she's very smart and so I'm really excited to talk to her today. I have Skyped her once so this will not be my first time talking to her but I am excited nonetheless. I'll tag her. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Did we, did we figure out? But one of the things people were talking about on the survey thing is like not having um, content to create or like con- whatever content creation was a problem. Oh. Um, and she is not only great at that but that's her coaching job so that's cool. See, I'm not sure how we're doing on lighting here. Where should I go? Can you guys see me? Okay, so today I am painting a mural and it is inspired by my cotton candy desert print, which was part of my desert candy collection. It is super pink because that whole collection was like Valentine's and pink inspired. But my awesome client, who's also a fellow artist in her free time, and we sell stuff in the same gallery, uh, Moon Age in Tempe, she asked me to do a wall mural here in her backyard. And um, it's coming along nicely. And she wanted a monochromatic version of that print, which is super sick. It's a great idea. And I actually made a print for her. Um, of the piece in black and white for her to like hang up on the inside. It's just like a little small gift. And I'm like, maybe I should offer this in my shop because it looks so good. But um, as you can see, I'm working on it now and I'm so stoked. my friend just snapped me she said it's coming to life and it is slowly but surely I'm really liking the mountain ridge right here and of course we're gonna have all of the saguaros on the top so that'll be pretty sick um, I don't know if I told you guys but the full mural is 11 feet long that's how big that wall is and then the whole wall is like five and a half feet tall so i'm painting on about half of it i think it ended up being a little bit more than half but i just wanted it to look good compositionally so i was just going to paint it however i thought best and um i did just lighten up this area in here and i wish i hadn't so i'll go back over with some darker area and then there's going to be dark here and then this black will carry throughout before I do the saguaro. I really want to do the saguaros right now, but I'm gonna wait till the end, that's pretty patient, and that can like be my reward for getting close to the end. paint on my forehead the mural is done and that's a wrap work party (laughs) 
sir. May I help you? Fuck <laughs> me. Excuse me, sir. Oh.